In this video, you will learn about the domain of rational expression. We know that rational expression is an expression in the form p of x over q of x, wherein q of x must not be equal to zero. So, we are going to use our restriction to find the domain of the rational expression. The domain of a rational expression is the set of all real numbers that define the fraction. Okay, to find the domain, we have three basic steps. Number one, equate the denominator of the rational expression to zero. So let us apply the steps one by one. Let's say we have an example Say example number one, 2x over x plus 5. Okay, this is our example. First step is equate the denominator of the rational expression to zero. Denominator, okay, x plus 5. So x plus 5, we need to equate to zero, is equal to zero. Next, solve the resulting equation. So we're going to find the value of x. So in this case, we're just going to transpose 5. So x is equal to negative 5. Okay? Then, last step, any solution of the equation is the restricted value. So, our domain now is x such that x is the restricted volume must not be equal to negative 5. This is now our domain of the rational expression. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, another example. Let's say we have 3 over 2x plus 1. So find the denominator, then equate to 0. So the denominator is 2x plus 1, equate to 0. And now solve for x. So 2x, we need to transpose positive 1, that will become negative 1. Then solve for x, we need to divide by 2. Two, then x is equal to negative one half. This is now our restricted value. Therefore, our answer is x such that x must not be equal to negative one half. Okay, I will write x is equal to negative one half. So x such that x is not equal to negative one half. So it must not be equal to negative one half because if x is negative one half, the denominator would be zero. So let's try to solve. Two times negative one half. Two times negative one half. We substitute the value of x plus one. Two times negative one half. That is negative one plus one. And the sum is zero. We're in our condition the denominator must not be equal to zero. Another examples. Okay, I will erase this now. So we have enough space to solve more exercises. And also our example number two. Example number three, x squared minus five all over two x plus four. Find the domain of this rational expression. First step, equate the denominator to zero. So the denominator is two x plus four equate to zero. Now solve for x. So two x 
is equal to transpose negative 4. Now we have to find x, divide by 2, divide by 2. x is equal to so negative 4 divided by 2, negative 2. So our domain is x such that x must not be equal to negative 2. Let's, let us check. So 2 times negative 2 will give you negative 4 plus 4. That will be equal to 0. Next, number 4. Let's say 5 over x squared plus 4x. First step, denominator equate to 0. So x squared plus 4x is equal to 0. So we need to factor this out to find the value for x. Use the greatest common factor. So the factors are x times x squared divided by x, that is x, plus 4x divided by x, that is 4, is equal to 0. Now equate to 0. So in this case, x is equal to 0, and the other one, x plus 4 is equal to 0. And then, x is equal to negative 4. So our x now is x such that x is not equal to 0 and x is not equal to negative 4. So these are our values of x. x must not be equal to 0 and x must not be equal to negative 4. Okay, I think this is enough space for our last example. Let's say we have Um, number five, x over x squared minus one. So get the denominator, x squared minus one equate to zero. x squared minus one, difference of two squared. Right? So the factors of x squared minus 1 is x plus 1 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, equate to 0, x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to transpose positive 1. So our domain is x such that x must not be equal to positive negative 1. Why positive negative? Because we have positive and negative 1. First, so let us define what is domain of rational expression. It is the set of all real numbers that define the fraction. In our introduction, of rational expression, we have those number that does not satisfy our conditions in rational expression that will make the expression undefined. So we're going to find those restricted values for our rational expressions. To further understand, let's have our first example. Number one, Let's say 2x over x plus 3. We're going to find the restricted value. Our first step is focus on the denominator. So the denominator is x plus 3, then equate to 0. Equate to 0 equals 0. Next, solve for x. So x 
is equal to transpose positive 3, that will become negative 3. So our restricted value now is negative 3. So for our final answer, our domain is x such that x is not equal to negative 3. Okay. Because if x is negative 3, that will make our expression undefined. So let us try to solve. So it will become 2 times x is negative 3 over negative 3 plus 3. You substitute the value of x. So this will become negative 6 over 0. And if our denominator is 0, that will not define our rational expression. That will make our expression undefined. Understood? Okay, let's try our example number 2. Let's have x squared minus 5 all over x squared plus 4x. Okay. First step, copy the denominator, x squared plus 4, x, then equate to 0 is equal to 0. And now, solve for x. Solve for x. Focus on our denominator. Find the factor. So let us use the greatest common factor. Again, to understand our rational expression, you need to master all our factoring techniques. The greatest common factor, difference of two squares, perfect square trinomials, and the general trinomials. So common factor is x, then x squared divided by x, that is x, plus 4x divided by x, is equal to 0. Let us check. x times x, that is x squared. x times positive 4, that is positive 4x. Now equate to 0. So this will become x is equal to 0. And the other factor is x plus 4 is equal to 0. So solve for x. x is equal to negative 4. The restricted values now are negative 4 and 0. So let us write our domain. x such that x is not equal to 0 and negative 4. Understood? Now our third example. m plus 5 over m squared minus m minus 12. If you want to try number 3, you can pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your work. Okay, let's check number 3. Copy the denominator, m squared minus m minus 12, then equate to 0. Now, solve for m. This is a general trinomial. To solve for m, let us find the factors first. So, 
So our factors are so M, M. Factors of negative 12, that is the sum is negative 1. So 4 times 3. So 4 times 3, 12. Now, focus on the sign. 1 negative and 1 positive. So, negative 4 and positive 3. Positive 3. So, let us check. Negative 4 times positive 3, that is negative 12. Negative 4 plus 3, that is negative 1. Now, equate to 0 m minus 4 is equal to 0, and m plus 3 is equal to 0. Then solve the values for m. Transpose, that will become m is equal to positive 4, and m is equal to negative 3. This is now our restricted value. So to write our domain, this is m such that m is not equal to 4 and negative 3. Because if m is 4 and negative 3, the expression will become undefined. Let's try our last example. Number four, five over m minus 16. Okay, m squared minus 16. If you want to try number four, you can pause the video. And after answering, you can resume watching to check your work. Now let's check number four. Copy our denominator. M squared minus 16 equate to zero. And then find the factors. Difference of two squares. So that is M plus four, M minus four is equal to zero. And now, solve for m. So m plus 4 is equal to 0. m minus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose, m is equal to negative 4. And m is equal to positive 4. Our restricted values. Then, writing our domain. x such Sorry, our variable is m, so we're going to use m. m such that m is not equal to positive negative 4. Because if our m is positive or negative 4, that will make our expression undefined. So that is on how to find the domain of rational expressions. If you have questions, just drop it in our comment sections. I will be happy to answer your questions and inquiries. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share this to your classmates. And do not forget to subscribe. Click our notification bell in order for you to be updated in our upcoming video.